Today I'm isolating some fungus I found growing in our cold room, and I'm going to look at it under a microscope. My first sample was green in color, looked a bit powdery, and formed a carpet over the petri dish it was growing on. Took a small sample and put it into a drop of water on a glass slide. My second sample had a green center and was covered in a white cotton-like structure. I prepared this one the same way, put a cover slip on top, and then looked at it under a microscope. In the first sample, we can see mainly fungal spores. Based on the morphology of the growth on the plate, it could be rhizopus, which is a common bread mold. Viewing sample 2 with the 10x objective, we can see more structures. Looking closer, we can see spores, but also hyphae, which look like individual branches. These are responsible for absorbing nutrients from the environment and transporting them around the fungus. A collection of hyphae makes up the mycelium or vegetative part of